Hello guys, how are you doing right now? How was your day? I hope it was splendid. Thank you very much for staying tuned. I have a very wonderful news right now for you and this will shock you. This will shock you. No school is safe until government negotiates with bandits. This is coming from Sheikh Abubakar Gumi. Sheikh Abubakar Gumi is the man, the middleman between the bandits and the government. Who goes to negotiate? Who goes to collect ransom from parents of kidnapped um, students and then goes to give to the bandits and the Boko Haram? He is the only person standing in between the Boko Haram and the government. And right now he's saying that no school is safe in Nigeria until government negotiates with bandits. You can imagine this old man saying this. And then you think we are safe in this our country? How sure are you that we are safe? Okay, let's get, let's get the news in detail. Popular Islamic cleric Sheikh Abu Bakr Gumi has said there are about 100,000 armed bandits in the Northwest alone. Gumi said the bandits kidnapping school pupils were disappointed that he negotiated with them without the involvement of the federal government. The cleric insisted that until the government engaged with the headsmen, no school could be safe. He stated this during an interview with the Punch on efforts to rescue the kidnapped pupils of Tejina Islamic School, Niger State. The bandits had demanded 200 million naira from the victim's parents, which was later reduced to 150 million naira. Gumi said, despite efforts to get the puppies out, the bandits were adamant in their financial demand. He said, but we are trying to talk sense to them that these are just innocent school children. We don't even have any idea of the condition of the children. We are just saying these are young children trying to study and they did nothing. So why are you trying to take dirty money from their parents? This kidnap of Islamic pupils actually proves to the nation that the bandits are not really indoctrinated. They are just looking for money. And I think that this is a good prognosis. They are not targeting a religion. They are not ideologues, which are difficult to deal with. We should not forget that they are not educated, formally or informally. They are just going about with cartoons and suddenly they found a lucrative way of finding money. But with good arrangements, education and enlightenment like jobs and other things, they will leave this work. But we need a partner and we need the government to understand individuals like me alone can do it. All those we, meet, we met have stopped kidnapping except for one of them who is kidnapping again and he told us his reasons that he was neglected and he thought we had the mandate to negotiate but when he realized that we did not have the mandate from anybody he said he was going back to his kidnapping job again so the earlier we go into engaging them the better the ones who have agreed to lay down arms you can engineer them to take care of the rest Gumi said the Niger state government has been making efforts to get the children released adding that the state had limited resources he insisted that the government could not protect schools without first finding means to end banditry in the country to secure schools why not engage the bandits engage them they are not many you can count them with your fingers how can you guard schools it is not possible in the whole northwest 
there may not be more than 100,000 bandits. And that is just a drop in the ocean. My people, look at what this man is saying. I'm highly disappointed here. So about 100,000 bandits are just a drop in the ocean. Oh my God. Nigeria has finished. What a mess. Oh my God. I'm, I'm, I'm just tired. This is talking about, that is talking about those with weapons. Because not all of them have weapons. 90% of those who have weapons use them to protect themselves against cattle rustlers. They are victims too. Aerial bombardment will only worsen the situation because when you start killing their children, you remember they also have our children, he added. This is what this old man, this um, Sheikh Abubakar is saying. I'm so disappointed. Well, what do you expect from such person standing in between the bandits, the Boko Haram, and the government? You don't expect any good from him. Okay, now, while moving forward, we have another headline here which says the same um, headline, almost the same, soldiers escort Sheikh Gumi to meet bandits but kill IPOB and Odudua members. This is coming exactly from Reno Omokri. Reno Omokri is angry. He's highly disappointed. He said, okay, soldiers escort Sheikh Gumi to meet bandits in the north. Yes, they do that. But they go to the east to kill IPOB members. They come to the west to kill Odudua members. Now, a popular Islamic cleric, Sheikh Gumi, has been the topic of the day following his suggestion that the federal government assist him in the negotiation and rescue of children who have been held captive by bandits. Sheikh Gumi has expressed his dissatisfaction with the way the troops of the Nigerian army attack and kill bandits. Hmm. Okay. Oh, he's not satisfied with it. Okay. Okay, you can see. Can you see my people? Can you see this? According to him, he revealed that the lives of the school students are exposed to misfired bullets and other physical harm by the bandits. He added that the bandits he has interacted with have told him that they are ready to surrender their weapons to the armed forces if the government provide good job opportunities, education, and quality houses for them. However, Reno Omokri has blasted Sheikh Ahmad Gumi for bringing up the suggestion that the government should negotiate with the armed bandits. He claimed that soldiers escort Sheikh Gumi to meet armed bandits and the same soldiers are still sent to kill Odudua and IPOB members in the, in the southeast and west. He concluded by saying that justice doesn't speak with the harassment of the Odudua nation and IPOB agitators. Hmm. He has said it all, my people. Reno Omokri has just said it all. That is exactly what it looks like. Justice doesn't speak with the harassment of the Odudua nation and IPOB agitators. What a, 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 a disappointment in this country. This is a total disappointment because I have asked myself this question. Why is it that whenever students are being kidnapped, this man, this Sheikh Abu Bakr Gumi, will go to negotiate with these bandits, with the terrorists, with, the, um, with Boko Haram. He will be the middleman. Even to the extent of going to collect ransom from the parents of the kidnapped children and paying to them. What, what, where are we going to? And then Buhari is assuring us that eh, he, will, he will, swearing that he will use his life. To, to, to make sure that um, um, uh, terrorism is 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 being um, um, erased in Nigeria is that possible? How is it possible? I don't know where we're going to, my people. This is so disappointing. This is so annoying. It's so annoying. Seriously, I don't know where. 
actually we are going to because everything is just going contrary I, I, I don't understand it I am so angry right now but I would like you to drop your comment on the comment section please drop your comment there I want to know your opinion concerning this I would like to know what you have in mind because I have said my own mind. I am not in support of this. So what do you have in mind? What can you say about this? Drop this on the comment section so we can discuss and then help me to share this video also and then like it. Thank you very much. Give me a thumbs up. Click on the bell button so you'll be the first person to get the subscription or the videos whenever I upload them. Thank you very much.